Hello there and thanks for joining me once again everyone and before I get this tutorial started um, you probably wonder why I haven't had any video, much videos out lately the problem is my f YouTube channel that I first started and I had lot like I was over 400 some subscribers one day I went to do a video and it said this channel no longer supports uploads so I had tried everything I could couldn't get it back on so I started up this new channel so and if you any of my subscribers I'd really appreciate if you would resubscribe if you find me on this channel I'm gonna try to give it a go again and if I don't get any support then I guess I'll call her call her wrap it up and call it quits but anyway so I got that out of the way so the fly I'm going to tell you today in this tutorial is uh, out of my book flies the best 1000 it's in the uh, bass fly category category and it's a streamer pattern it's called the uh, flash dancer and it uh, has a uh, pearl flash boo wing a little bit of red marabou for the tail white chenille for the body and a deer hair collar and head not a, uh, an overly difficult streamer to tie and it's a uh, Thought you might like to see a bass streamer this time, so we'll get this guy the hook, or excuse me, this guy the vise, a fresh hook in, and get started. Now the hook I'm using is a bass stinger hook at a number two, so we'll get that locked down in the vise here, like so. And for thread, I'm using UTC 140 denier in red. So the first thing I'll do is start a few eye lengths behind the eye here. We want to leave room for collar and head, and I'm going to wrap back. And we'll just wrap back towards the bend here and snip off that tag end. Okay, now the tail is just simply a short red marabou tail, and you don't want to tie it in too overly thick, just a medium sized tuft of marabou. And we want that to be about the length of the hook, so we'll tie that in here. Come in on top and pinch it down like so. One more pinch wrap, a couple more securing wraps. And then I'm going to give that marabou a little twist and snip it off there and I'll secure that down as well the access nice and secure there with lots of tight wraps and then we're going to move forward once again stop our thread now the body just simple white chenille I have some medium white chenille here and I'm just gonna catch that in right on top here just like so and wrap that back to in front of our tail. So there we go. And wrap it all right thread forward once again. And we'll stop there. And before I wrap it, like I always do, I'm gonna add a little cement for make it a little more durable fly. A little bead along there. Okay, and then we'll just I'm just gonna wrap it with my fingers this time around instead of the rotary, so and we'll just touching wraps till we get to our tie off point here just like so just make a nice evenly thick body there okay now we'll come underneath over the top underneath lock it in then a couple more wraps and I'll snip that off okay now I'll make a few more securing wraps there like so there we go Here's our tail and body. Now the wing just a pearl flashaboo and it's quite a thick wing. So what I do is cut out a fairly good sized chunk of uh, flashaboo here. Quite a few strands. Quite a thick chunk of it here. And then what I'll do is tie it in at the midway point. Just like so here. Sometimes this stuff can be a little bit unruly to work with but all right we'll get a couple wraps there and then i'm just going to simply once i get two or three wraps here i'm going to fold it back over itself just like so get that going on the top all right so there's our there's our flashaboo wing and you want to trim that to even with the tail or a little bit past doesn't hurt just like so and there's our pearl flashaboo wing Okay, all tied in, secured. Now I'm just going to make a few more wraps here. Alrighty. And a little dab of uh, zappa gap on those side wraps there. Just give it a little shot. Okay. Now next is our deer hair collar and head. I have some 
Dear Harry, my stacker here for the collar. Tap that and even it up. Okay, I'll pull that out of the stacker. Make sure the tips are even. I'm going to snip off the butt ends. Okay. And we'll take that. Tie it right on top. Back to about the end of the body. And we're going to pinch that because we want that to stay on top. So I'll make a few wraps through that deer here, like so. And we're just going to pull that back. Make a few wraps in front. And there's our collar on the top. Okay. And now, I'm going to cut another chunk of deer hair. With equal size. Spin up the head. And I'm just going to get the under fur out of there with my comb. And we'll spin that on there. Okay. Just cut off the tips here. Just like so, okay. Now we're going to bring this in. Just like so here. A couple of loose wraps and then we're going to let it go around the hook. Till it catches for us here. Just like so, nice tight wraps. Now I don't want this to be packed in too tight but I'm just going to pack it in enough to uh, so I can get a whip finish in there. I don't want to pack it in too overly tight. I'm going to take another wrap through it. One more. And then bring my thread up through. Just wiggle it as you bring it up. And i got lots of room there to do a whip finish. So Make a couple turns there. Now I'll get my whip finish ready. And make a three or four turn whip finish on this guy here. Okay, there's four or five turns there. Okay, snug it up good. Yeah, I'll come in and snip that off. Okay, now all we got left to do is the trimming. So I'm gonna start by just trimming the head. Just work around with your scissors. Just like so. And then the book it has sort of a pointed head to it as far as I can see there. So we'll shape it the same way. And we don't want to cut too much of our collar off. Just like so. Okay. Starting to take shape there now. I'm just going to come around. Even that head up. Just cut a little bit of that collar out of there. Not too much. Okay, that's enough there. Yeah, just come around, snip that off, even it up a little bit, and there we go. There's another size two flash dancer, bass streamer. And a little trick that you can do if you get any hairs that are close to the all your hooks, just take a lighter, just give it a little singe there, and that will get those out of the eye of the hook, just like so. And there we have it, folks size 2 flash dancer a couple more hairs there I want to trim out there we go not a hard streamer to tie this is, you might if you haven't spun deer hair a lot that might be the only tricky part for you so anyway I hope everyone will resubscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate that a whole lot for your support I'll see what happens after this video the, whether or not I'll keep going or not but if you have the materials definitely give this one a try tie them up if you do any any bass fishing and give them a whirl so I want to thank you all for watching once again and if you have subscribed please hit that subscribe button appreciate the support and happy tying out there and we'll see you all again soon so long for now folks